let me say first off that this is a, a court of inquiry. It's not an adversarial court. It's a nonprofit educational event. And with enormous, enormous energy and intelligence, all of us have been brought together to try to bring out some of the aspects. Uh, so if I may, I, I have prepared an overview statement based on my work these many past weeks. And I want to just say that as a parent and as a patriot, I'm absolutely outraged by what we're allowing to happen to our children. Uh, this, I mean, humanity is judged on how you treat the weakest member uh, of, the, um, of the society. Let me say that although pedophilia, which says child love, has nothing to do with the abuse of children, uh, these children are not just kidnapped and in some cases bred by families as a cash crop. We have people in the United States of America that breed children in order to sell them. Mm -hmm. And when they are sold, they come without birth certificates, which means it's easier to kill them and have no one ask where they are. We're also importing children by the plane load. Again, children who have no documentation. It's not just child slavery or child sex abuse. It's also child torture because you have adrenalized blood. You, you have the, the whole blood drinking ceremony of the satanic world. It's also the uh, use of children for harvesting body organs. We'll have the Falun Gong uh, testimony tomorrow. Um, one of the reasons that the Falun Gong are so popular is because they're so healthy uh, so that you can harvest their body organs uh, with, and, get, and get the very best. And then you have ritual ceremonies and ritual murder uh, as well as incidental murder. Uh, I, um, I have been a spy. I'm out from undercover. I'm under a lifetime secrecy agreement. I absolutely uh, tell you without doubt, I have no secrets that I can remember. Uh, so uh, if when I go to Iran soon, they can torture me. There's nothing there <laughs> for them to get. Um, but I know the system. I've been a spy all over the world. I have uh, created the Marine Corps Intelligence Command. Uh, I have trained um, intelligence and law enforcement representatives, over 8,000 of them from across 66 countries. They are all, without exception, good people trapped in a bad system. And one of the most wonderful things that this court could achieve, now that we've had Pizzagate, for example, which opened people's mind, is we could achieve a, an opening of the public mind and an absolute imperative from the public to governments, including the U.S. government, which I think is the center of gravity in, in so many ways. I have found in my research and preparation for this court and all of the work that will follow that most organizations that end up being um, used to prey on children, Oxfam is a recent example, uh, all of the United Nations organizations, the Boy Scouts of America, all of the child services agencies across the United States of America, they did not start out as organizations to prey on children. But they attract pedophiles. And ultimately, pedophiles end up rising in the ranks and controlling those organizations. So that an organization that initially started out in the service of children becomes an organization that is in fact hunting children. And one of our distinguished commissioners has written an absolutely wonderful book called Child Hunters, which I recommend to all of you um, as a brief on this. Uh, it's absolutely essential that we begin to talk about this openly. And while we are not a law enforcement commission, we can, in fact, turn information over to law enforcement. And I believe we will render a signal service to the people of Great Britain and to other countries by being a magnet for information. Um, it's been my experience that when you put out one piece of free information, it attracts 100 pieces of information from others, of which 10 are priceless. So there's a 10 to 1 return on investment. And this commission seeks to create an online library and some other things that I'll talk about in a moment. And I believe we will serve as a magnet, a hub, a catalyst for a new emerging global consciousness about pedophilia and all of its uh, aspects. Now, it's my, not my working assumption, but uh, the, the working assumption yet to be proven 
that the totality of the children disappearing worldwide is toward 8 million people, toward 8 million children. In the United States of America, the acknowledged number, not counting the children being bred without birth certificates, not counting the children being imported without documentation, is between 600 and 800,000 a year. Now imagine Africa and East Asia and all these other locations. I personally believe that the number we want to try to document is rising well beyond the official figures, and we, will, we have yet to learn what the actual number is, okay? The other working assumption is how long do these children survive within this system? What I am hearing from the witnesses that I've talked to is two years. It may be longer. It may be four years, it may be six years, but by and large, these children are so abused. I mean, we're talking rapes by the hour and so forth, that they reach their expiration date uh, within two years. And then they're murdered with impunity, or they're ritually murdered if that's what they've been bred for. So I think we need to document this. No one else has done this before in a systematic manner. This commission is rendering a signal service by seeking to do an overall view in the public interest. My final uh, comment. The center of gravity for taking down the deep state, pedophilia is both the induction glue. Pedophilia is how the deep state recruits and controls people. Uh, it is also the Achilles heel of the deep state. I believe that once the public realizes that the government is not protecting their children at a scale of vulnerability that we can articulate, then everything else about the government is called into question. All right? So for me, this is a truly righteous endeavor. And I will end by saying that as much good as it might do to get the British angry, for me, the center of gravity for change is the American public. Because if you can get the American public angry, we will stop supporting dictators overseas. We will close all of our military bases overseas. I am on record as a former CIA uh, operations officer as saying that our thousand bases overseas are not there for national defense. They're there to serve as lily pads for the smuggling of guns, gold, cash, drugs, and small children. So let me say I am proud to be in your company, and I believe that no matter what we do or do not do, it is going to make a difference. God bless you all.